Hey, what's up? My name is Chris and welcome to Coding in Public. Today I want to share with you crucial keyboard shortcuts that I use to dramatically speed up my development workflow. Now, since there are literally hundreds of built-in shortcuts, I've tried to just pick the ones that I get the most use out of to share with you here, but I hope to have something for everyone, whether you're a beginner or a pro. Of course, if you have other tips, please feel free to add them in the comments below. Lastly, I'll add each keyboard shortcut in the description so you can pick up one or two new ones now and then come back later when you're ready for learning some more. All right, let's go ahead and jump in. You see, I've got this project open right here where it's just generating random numbers and we've got uh, JavaScript files and CSS files and an index.html file, so enough to kind of play with this. First, there's lots of different ways to toggle your sidebar depending on what you're wanting to open. Now, if you're on a Mac, that would be Command B. I believe it's Control B on Windows, and you can do that back and forth, and it will just open and close it. Now, through the rest of this video, I'm going to keep referencing Command because I'm on a Mac, but for the most part, you can just substitute Control whenever I say that. Now, if you want to go to a specific tab, there are a couple different ones I'll show you how to get to. So this Search tab might be helpful, or maybe the Extensions as well. And if you hover over them, they'll actually give you the keyboard shortcut. You can see that there. So Command Shift F on a Mac will open up Search. Command Shift X will open up your extensions and Command Shift E will open back up that file explorer. And one of the things that I see beginners do a lot with VS Code is they're constantly opening up the explorer by hitting Command B and then coming over here and clicking on a new file. Now that's all fine and well, but once you start to get lots of files or you just wanna keep your hands on the keyboard, it's way quicker to hit Command P and then just search for a file like just type JS and then anything with JS will pull up. Now, the other thing I might want to do is start splitting different panels next to each other. And it's really easy to do that. If you hit Control, Command, and the over arrow, it will split them just like that, either direction, and you can just move it back the same exact way. Now, in any single pane where you have multiple tabs open, you can hit Command, Option, and the over arrow, and that will just rotate through your tabs. You can also hit Command, W to close any current tab. All right, for the next tip, I'm going to go ahead and open up my style sheet. So I'll open it up just like this. Whenever you're working in VS Code, there's often times where you want to rename several things or select several things that have the same exact syntax. So for instance, maybe I want to change all of these colors. Now, probably I would have done this with a CSS variable anyhow, but let's say I just got them hard coded in here. Well, if I grab the first one and select it like I just did and hit Command D, that will select the very next instance. But I can actually select everything in the current document by hitting Command Shift L, and that will select all of them. And you can see there I've got three cursors all selecting those, and if I just backspace, then I can add in whatever I want here. I'll just put it back because it doesn't much matter, and I actually had four. I forgot I had another one down here, but it selected every single one in the document. Now, speaking of multiple cursors, you can do that really quickly by hitting Command, Option, and the down arrow, or the up arrow, and it basically just adds cursors up or down. You can also hit Option and then click, and it will either remove them if there's one already there, or it will add them. So for instance, I could click here, remove that one, come down here and click all of these manually if I want to as well, and the same exact principle would apply. All right, next let's jump over to our main.js file. And here you can see I've got a module importing uh, two different functions, this format currency and random number between, and I'm using them here in the file below. Let's say as I'm looking at this, I'm trying to remember exactly what it does. Well, what I can do to peek into the definition of it is hit command, and then it will just preview that for me. So I see the entire function showing for me. Now, if I command and click, it'll actually take me to where that is defined. Often when you're working in large projects, you'll realize, you know what, I didn't quite name that function the way I wanted to. What I used to do is hit command shift F and then start searching for like random uh, number between and then click this little drop down arrow and replace it with something else. The problem is sometimes you don't always catch everything and VS Code actually understands where all these things are and how they're connected. So you don't have to do that. In fact, what you can do instead is come in here and if I just select one of these and hit the function F2 button, it will then allow me to rename this symbol. And these symbols are basically a way of VS Code tracking wherever something is used throughout your project. So I could call this something like ran num between. Now you can preview this by hitting shift and enter and it will show you all the places it's going to change that. And then I can apply it like this or if I go ahead and cancel this, let's just discard this and redo that. Now I can just hit enter and it will rename it in all of those locations. Now notice what it does is it actually keeps it the same in this utilities.js file, but it will basically rename it as you import it here to random between, and that's what it's using down here as well. So let's remove all of that, and then what I'm gonna do is jump back into this utils, and let's change it here instead. So if I come here and select this, all I have to do now is hit function F2, and then I can type it here, random between, 
And just to show you that this is actually going to change everything, if I hit uh, Shift Enter, you can see here I've got both the main JS file and the utils file now changing all of those, including the imports are gonna be changed automatically. And then I can just apply this and jump back over here and it's changed for us automatically. So to change it everywhere throughout your project, you wanna to go to wherever the function is defined, which again, you can do by just hovering over it and hitting command click and it'll take you right there. And then here's where you want to rename the symbol. Now, finally, as much as it's nice to have all these keyboard shortcuts, they are hard to remember. So the best tip of all of these is if you hit Command Shift P like this, and then just start searching for whatever you want to do. So like rename symbol, and then I can just hit enter, or it tells me the keyboard shortcut right there, which is F2. So for instance, this is super helpful if I do things like selecting this section, this H1, and if I hit Command Shift P and type in wrap with abbreviation, I can just type this right here and let's say I want to add a header around here with a class of like header uh, main or something like that. And now suddenly it wraps it all and I don't have to remember keyboard shortcuts or even assign one to it. That command shift P gives you access to all your extensions or anything else within VS Code that you might want to do in a project or a file. I hope you enjoyed this. If you're interested in my theme or my fonts or different extensions I use, I've done videos on all of those. I will note that I've changed my theme since then and I'll probably change it again. Right now I'm using Let's see, let's say Command Shift P and see what it is. It's Pale Knight Operator. And in the past I've used this Monokai Pro Filter Octagon, which I also like. So I switch between stuff because, well, I like to mix it up. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks so much for watching. I will catch you in the next one. Happy coding.